and we need a leader who's got a vision and better dream for this nation. Mm -hmm. And I present to you, media, I present to you, the people of Papua New Guinea, none other than Governor Alan Bird. Thank you. You see, there's one argument that says you have to stay in politics for a long time to make a change. I present you, Sir Mekere Morata, two yes. years. Yes. Yes. We did yes. it. Yes. Significant changes. So, you know, that's just a flimsy argument. If you know what you need to do, and you don't need to do a hundred things, you just need to be, you just need to be strategic, and you just do one or two things, and the whole yeah. thing will write itself. Yeah. That's my belief. I have a strategic planning background, and so I don't expect that our team will do everything, but we just do the important things, change the course of the ship, and the ship will sail properly. Yeah. So we don't need ten years. Uh, we had our discussion and I said, look, we're going to come up with an 18-month plan. Because that's how long we're going to have. And we're not going to make any uh, excuses about it. We're going to get to work and we're going to get things done. And we are going to turn the country around in 18 months. Yes. Let me give you one other example. In the last five years, private sector has been totally left out of the development picture in this country. Private sector has been squeezed out. Well, one of the things we are going to do is we are going to be <coughs> private sector friendly. We are going to create the conditions. You see, government invested what? This year it's going to invest $27 billion. Private sector is capable of bringing in twice that amount of money, even three times that amount of money. But we're not letting them. The policies of the current government, you talk to any business, is not investor friendly. So, you like try walking you yet, Norman, Sana Ponding Hanya, how are you going to go? I think you can turn the country around in two years. You don't need 10. That's it. But you can wreck the country in 10 years. You can wreck it in five years. And that's the thing. Why does a prime minister have to do everything himself? Why can't he have competent ministers? Why can't he share power? Yeah. Yeah. You have 22 <laughs> very capable governments yeah. enshrined in the constitution. We've never fully empowered them. You may talk talk about mouse, not transferring power, but money not being in power, I don't know. As I sit here and talk to you, all the provinces, all 22 in Papua New Guinea this year, are only going to receive 3.1 billion kina out of a 27.4 billion kina budget. That's 15%. Where do all our people live? They live in the provinces. Why does the national government need so much money to do its business? The business of the people is in the provinces. We just change the structure. Okay, people are going to argue and say, oh, by stealing money. Listen, people are stealing money right now. How much money is going to the Ombudsman Commission? How much is going to the Fraud Squad? How much is going to the Auditor General? You mean cut him over the money, blum all, shift him over the money, blum blah, blah, and then they can't perform. If you look at the Australian federal system, the Australians use it, the Chinese use it, they all have a similar <coughs> system. They share power. Now, you mean? <coughs> no, I don't want something and blow my gun you make that one change, and you change the course of the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 provinces have 22 unique situations. It's not the same in Hela as it is in Chimbu, or in Central Province, or in ECP. It's different. Why do you want to prescribe something from Waigani? It's not going to work. It hasn't worked. That's what we've been doing for 49 years, ladies and gentlemen. You don't need five or ten years to make that change. The problem is we give too much power to one man, the Prime Minister. And if that one man doesn't know what to do with the power, we all suffer. So the Prime Minister is supposed to dictate the shape of the budget. Dictating, Larry Molman operating. You need auditors, you need accountants, you need all those sorts of people, you need police investigators, well, give them the money. You know, can cut him leg, blow all police, not behind you to hold, all by still long, ECP. But how many investigators? I've been asking for six years for people to come and investigate ECP. Not one single national agency came down. I had to go to the Australian government to get the Australian government to come and audit my province. And that's the same story around the country. If you learn management on Tichimilo University, go to Give him responsibility, give him resources, now oversight. That's management. 
we're not even doing that basic thing in running your country.